What's up guys? So today we're installing RSR lowering springs on a 2020 Toyota Corolla. What's going on today, bro? So man, so we're working on a 2020 uh, Corolla. Installing RSR springs on here. Should be good. Rears are pretty straightforward. Fronts, so rears are pretty simple. Um, just pretty much just drop this whole arm down, grab the springs out. But the fronts, um, that one gets a little technical because on top of the strut, there's like a bunch of plastics covering it. So that'll take a little time to remove. So just you removed the rear lowering spring already on the rear driver's side. Now you're gonna remove the rear on the passenger side, right, bro? Yep. Mm -hmm. The rears are pretty straightforward. It's just uh, one bolt holding it, and the jack is here to uh, make sure it's not too compressed. Because when you remove this with a gun, you'll see like metal flakes. If it's compressed all the way down, you could possibly strip the bolt so you don't want to do that so I, I just try to level everything out to get the tension out and again guys just disclaimer make sure uh, you have a professional help you when it comes to suspension installations don't try to do this do not do this at home if you guys don't know what you're doing even though it's a YouTube video we highly recommend you get a person like Jesse who's experienced dealing with suspension. and if you guys do need to upgrade your suspension hit us up and Jesse will be glad to help you guys with the installation. So. not too much it doesn't have too much tension in there all right notice how it's coming out a lot easier now no metal shaving yep that's what we want because usually this is rubbing against the the outer part right here and then also too once the bolt comes out it tends to strip it it just rubs against that button. With the jack out there, got rid of the tension. Now Jesse is able to remove, right? Remove the rear spring. Now you gotta reach, push this down. Just like that. I'm gonna make sure. There you go. Yep. Well, actually, I'm just gonna leave that there. Let's replace this top part with the new one. But these are the rears, and those are the fronts of the RSR springs. There you go. So there's RSRs to your left and the rear, and to the right is the Stock. Stock yeah. yep. And everything else is pretty much reverse, right, bro? Yeah. Reverse. Yeah. So, with these, yeah, with these, it's kind of like 
A lot of people get it mixed up because the top and the bottom mount is all the same. Uh, I just like putting the logo facing up so you can read it right instead of putting it like that. Okay. So. Have you installed any of these in the past? Uh, they, yes. They're pretty good? Or? Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, they're pretty stiff for, you know, spring for springs itself. And it gives it about like a 1.5 inch drop. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Insulation straightforward. So, actually, it goes like this. So, I already left the inner, uh, the inside uh, mount on there. All I gotta do is just line up the groove like that with the stock one. Hold it up like that. Should be good to go. That's one down. Same process. Um, just jack up, use the jack to put tension on it and raise Make it up. Make sure you, you line up the threading hole there. Yep. And that way, when you place the bolt back, right, it doesn't strip or ruin yep. the threading. So. Yep. Yep. Yeah. What you could do too is try to line up one side. So you might have to like wiggle it, pull it around, and stuff. There you go. Just to get it started, I'm just gonna tap this a bit. So now we got the bolt in, but it's just the back side. If you want to look at that. Almost there. Time to there you go. When you tighten it, leave the jack so it doesn't put any more tension on it. Avoid possibly stripping the bolt. So you want to leave the jack on there. There you go. So Jesse's pretty much doing the same steps as he did on the rear passenger side. Mm -hmm making sure the uh, the bolt goes in without stripping the threading. So now he's double checking to make sure that the bolt is in, so, which he just got put back. Now he's gonna tighten everything and everything should be good. Be like an inch and a half drop around yeah okay. once it settles down so, these are the fronts stock rears and this is good to go just gotta put the wheels back on and we're good right yep yep For lug nuts, um, quick tip, I like to um, hand tighten everything first just to get everything seated down right before you use like, you know, your gun or anything like that. Again, avoid um, stripping the, the bolts. 
going to be a headache to replace. <laughs> Just a heads up. You see, I'm not putting all the pressure in yet. I just want to make sure everything lines up. And I notice I'm going in a star pattern as well. Side done. Now to the rear passenger side. Give it about a week. It's about it's gonna drop. For braking periods, so uh, I'm not too sure about the miles. It's just I would say just drive it like for a whole entire week, because that way once it settles down, the the springs will get used to the rebound and all of that, and it'll actually sit in the correct spot. So, yeah. Yeah, that's some good information there, guys, so that you guys know when it comes to suspension insulation for lowering springs. So the rear is finished. Chess is now going to be doing the front. Yeah. So the front. front. Front's a little bit different, right? Yeah, front's a little bit different. Uh, let me show you the plastic. There you go. So there's four clips. One, two, three, four. And then I had to remove the driver windshield wiper just to get access to this thing. So I gotta remove this bolt so I get to get access to that bolt in the rear. So it's, that's yeah. what I was talking about, how it's like the fronts are tricky on these, these cars because you gotta pull out like multiple Yeah, spots. so the way uh, Toyota designed the Corolla, the new model, they kind of smushed it a little bit. Yeah. So you had to take out the weather guard, like Jesse said, and- Dude, This is the, this, uh, the bolt for yeah, the, the bolt winter there. wiper. Yeah. And there you go. He has to just Yeah, just lift this yeah, up. He has all that room. And then I have too. access to grab that yeah. rear one right there. Cool. Same uh well this the other side's the same way, uh, minus the windshield wiper removal. So Yeah, this one's fairly easy. There you go. the tie rod end bolts 
and the two bolts that's holding the strut. So I really decide to use a 22 millimeter big socket right there. That's crazy. And there's also a 14 millimeter bolt right here that's holding the brake line and the ABS sensor wire. So you got to remove those, unclip this piece right here that's holding the wire. It should be good to go from there. Like that, remove that. This one comes out. What I like to do is keep everything organized. Uh, put the bolts back together so you don't lose it. Just like what I did with this one, took out the 14 millimeter, put it back on there. I tried using a regular ratchet for this from uh, another customer's car. It's really hard to take out. So good thing if you have an impact gun, use it. If you have a big breaker bar, use that as well. This one doesn't drop too much, uh, just like other cars, you want to worry about it, uh, about dropping all the way down so you don't mess with the axle. Because sometimes the axle drops all the way down and it pops out of socket and it's going to be really, really tough to put it in there. But it's not too bad if that happens, you could just jack it up, push it in, make sure it gets back into socket right here. In our case, it doesn't drop on too much. It still has tension, so pretty leveled. So we should be good to go. It's one down, all you gotta do is take out the top bolts and everything drops. Do the other side real quick. So Jesse's gonna be doing the same steps that he's, he did to remove the strut. Okay, so now Jesse's working on the front passenger side and just wanna show you where the, the warning spring is at. Right here, right up there, right here to here. Yeah, you couldn't really see it <laughs> from looking down, but yeah, if you look really inside the wheel well and look up, it's right there. And that's it's a really big spring, changing yeah. to RSRs. So, yeah, you'll see a difference. Uh, we'll put it about side by side. Uh, stock springs that are about like an inch longer, so you'll see it. Guys, right, Jesse's doing the same thing as he did on the front driver's side, so stay tuned and we'll show you when he changes the springs. So now Jesse is removing the top bolts. As we showed you earlier, he has access uh, to these bolts on the top part of the suspension for the front passenger side. You need to remove the weather guard, lift it up. And that will loosen the strut, right? Yep. Yeah. Should be releasing struts. And then we would be able to remove the springs. This one, yeah, I left it up on that tad bit. So it's these three bolts right here, not the two. These two are holding the strut itself, the strut bar, I would say, the brace. So. Once that's removed, we should be able to pull the strut out. Oh, there you go, guys. So the reason why we pulled out this bolt right here 
actually get access to the rear because if even without that removing that you can't even fit a socket in there so now that i removed it as you can see we have room to actually fit something in there quick tip if you're working on a corolla now the fun part hopefully i don't drop the bolt <laughs> yeah. Drop the nut, I mean. Now, sad. Okay, cool. There you go. Cool. Now that's loose. Cool. Should be good to go. Just like that. Driver's side's out. Now we got driver's side out as well. And to remove these. All you got to do is pull out these top. There you go. You have access to the bolt or the nut, I mean, to remove the whole spring assembly itself. You notice the spring is a lot shorter on uh, than the stock one itself. Uh, but this one is a lot stiffer than this as well. So it, it balances out. Um, the kit does come with a new bump stop. Uh, where where it pretty much prevents it from bottoming out, so which is good. This one, as you see, is a lot thicker. Let me grab the RSR one. So here's the RSR bump stop. See the difference? Because they made it shorter just because it's sitting a lot lower. All right, so when you assemble the, the RSRs on there, or any, any uh, spring, you want to make sure these uh, rubber pieces are in the correct spot just to hold the spring right you know so it doesn't move around when you're driving also too if you don't have these um, it tends to squeak and you'll be hearing a lot of like clunking and metal sounds on there so this pretty much prevents it from doing that you can see here you gotta make sure you line up everything it has a little space right there for it same with the top you see the little groove. What you want to do is put that end part right on there, just like that. And then the top hat. And we should be good to go, just like that. Something like that. Okay. All right, so the fronts, we don't really need a spring compressor. You can see the bolt is already exposed. So what I usually do is Try to get the nut settled in there. Make sure it's hand tied in. Just to get it snug. Have a few turns on there. Yeah, this is the driver's side where we finish that. Now just see uh wrapping up the passenger side, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you notice I got a few threads in there. You could grab your impact. Don't worry, the bottom is not gonna spin. Do it a few turns to make sure it's going in right. That's about it. That's fully tied in. Everything's good to go. Perfect. All right, now it's time to install. Cool. Gotta get one bolt. There you go. you notice the strut has a slight tilt to it see it right there see how this part dives down so in this case it's this part right here that dives down it's right on top of the strut so make sure you guys position it that yeah. way to uh, ensure that you have it correctly installed mm -hmm. so take note of that that just you mentioned so the suspension is it has a slope, right? Yeah. yeah it has a, a, a slope, slope that you have to align up. So make sure. All right, guys. So the front lowering springs, the RSR lowering springs are now installed. So just wanted to show you. 
the final shot of the complete installation for the fronts. So that's the front driver's side and the front passenger side's already done. The wheels are already mounted and there are the springs, the RSRs right there installed. So Jesse just has to put back the front driver's side wheel and then we're golden. I did with the other side what I'm gonna do is drop it halfway make sure the tire is touching the ground like that I don't want to drop it too down yet make sure everything's tight cool once everything's tight then I go fully drop. There you go, guys. So yeah, guys, the suspension just dialed in. So as you can see, about an inch and a half on the RSR is installed. So look, looks pretty nice. Shout out to CJ Ryan. What's up, brother? Holy shit. Feeling good. Hell yeah, guys. If you guys need any suspension upgrades, hit up our boy Jesse. What's up, bro? What up? Yep. Just finished the inst installation. Shout out to CJ Ryan. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it, brother. Corolla's looking clean. Just the beginning, right, bro? Yes, sir. 